so whenever we are doing the uh, doing the ray tracing with spherical mirrors okay so this is only for spherical mirrors that this thing applies whenever we are doing that there is a condition that we have to do the ray tracing with para axial rays okay and what does it mean by para axial uh, rays okay so that is the uh, uh, topic of uh, this class okay see as the name itself suggests this is the principal axis of our a ray tracing diagram this is our principal axis right here okay this is our principal axis right here the rays which are near this principal axis okay para means near so para axial means the rays which are near this principal axis near the axis so para axial rays so these rays which are near the principal axis they are known as the para axial rays and whenever we do the ray tracing we will only concern ourselves with the rays which are near the principal axis so in this case we have a lens in this case we have a mirror in both the cases if we take the rays which are very very far away from the principal axis so for example this ray which goes very far away from the principal axis this one in the case of this uh, mirror this ray is going very very far in the case of the lens these rays which are going very very far then these rays are not going to converge at our focus okay so there's these rays converge slightly away from the focus the rays which are at the very corner of the lens and the mirror they converge away from the focus and this is known as spherical aberration aberration means incorrectness so this is the spherical aberration and because of this spherical ab aberration the rays which are not para axial the rays which are very very far away from the principal axis do not converge at the focus even though they are coming from infinite even though they are parallel to the principal axis they should have converged at the focus but they do not okay and to avoid this problem uh, in our uh, analysis in our ray tracing we would always consider the para axial rays we will always draw our rays close to the principal axis we are never going to make the object or the height of the object yeah high we are not going to do that we are going to keep them small so that in comparison to the lens we are going to keep them small so that there is no spherical uh, aberration and we only have to do the ray tracing with para axial rays okay and this spherical aberration is of course only with the real mirrors and real uh, Uh, real lenses uh, when you are doing the ray tracing on the piece of paper it does not really apply but when we are doing the experiments in the actual lab this really applies okay so you are make sure that your object is uh, not very very high when we are doing the actual experiments okay otherwise this uh, uh, spherical aberration this would come uh, into picture and you will not be able to uh, get a focused image of the object thank you